Okay, welcome back everyone to another editing tutorial in Premiere. Uh, so today we're going to be going through this timeline and trying to cut down our video to a reasonable length. Okay, so I've got Premiere open to where we left off last time. And when you're editing in Premiere, I would personally say it is normally easiest to start from the back because it is very clear where your final take went well. Or, you know, just being able to chop off chunks. So, refresher from last time, keyboard shortcut C to get the snipping tool. Since there is no audio for the rest of that, I would pretty much guarantee it's garbage. So I am just going to ripple delete that out of there with shift delete. And then we're going to scroll back through this and look for dead spots. Uh, and I'm going to click in here to set my marker. And I'm going to play a little bit of this and try to figure out where I'm at. Select like the three other lighter images I did. Uh, sometimes I have these, sometimes I don't, but I'm going to open them as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so this looks like a chunk where Photoshop is loading, so I'm gonna put a cut in here, and let's see if this is where Photoshop actually loaded. Okay, so now with these three images... Okay, and that looks like I guessed right, so... We're gonna put a couple more cuts in there, hit the V key, and select those, and then ripple delete that chunk. Let's see what else we have for dead spots. Let's check out here, see what I got going on. Don't do anything else. So I am with that, I'm just gonna hit start. Okay, and this looks where I'm processing an image, so really no need to show that. Okay. And that looks like where it's done, so I'm just going to drag that over. I, if you have that dragged over, when you use your cut tool, it just kind of like auto goes to that line. So sometimes that can be kind of handy. But again, just going to ripple delete that chunk out. No, I don't save my current projects. Okay. Okay, so that was a section where I literally did absolutely nothing. So again, it's going to put a couple cuts in here. V key and delete it. And I left a lot more audio here than I would have preferred, so I'm going to delete that as well. Okay, looking for more dead spots. Okay, this looks like it might be a big one. Let's see what's going on. Now that we have those gone, I think this is good. So I'm going to go to File and Save. Okay, so it's just saving a video here, so I'm just going to put a couple cuts in. And a couple more cuts, and delete that chunk, because that was pretty worthless. Let's check what's going on over at this dead spot. I got this exactly how I want it. So I normally start with uh, the basic spot. Okay, that was actually a dead spot where I was just kind of playing around and didn't do anything worthwhile. So again, gonna chop it out because I don't think anyone actually wants to see that. Okay, let's go backwards a little more and find out what's happening here. I'm going to go up to filter and convert for smart filters. Okay. Okay, that was a lot of unnecessary waiting. So we're gonna cut this chunk out as well. And 
And is any more major dead spots here? Let's see what this one is. That looks pretty big. To remove some of the noise in the foreground. Okay, so now that they're all stacked up, they'll look... Okay, another point where it was just doing some processing, so... Definitely gonna cut that chunk out. Uh, let's keep scrolling back here. What do we got going on? Okay, this looks like a really big dead spot here. Let's check the beginning and end of this. Come to build one to one, but I, it takes so long to do that honestly, I don't really prefer doing that. Okay, so this is where I was building my previews, which nobody wants to see that chunk. So again, going to get rid of it. And let's check this dead spot. Latest project. Uh, didn't go quite far back enough to tell what I was saying. And in the library tab, I'm going to click import to import my latest project. Okay, and this looks like where I'm trying to locate my files, because... Yeah, that did not go smoothly. I kind of lost them when I was making it, so yeah, this chunk, garbage as well. So again, Ripple deleting that. And then coming back to the beginning, this looks where I actually started. So I'm going to just throw a couple cuts in, again using the audio to make my cuts, because 90% of the time that's just what I want. And Ripple deleting that. So we have chopped this project down to... Oh god, 24 minutes. It's still really long, but... You know, it is what it is sometimes. So I'm going to click up on the timeline and try to figure out what's going on here. Uh, okay, so somewhere in here is where I changed to a program called Sequator. Uh... I want to see where I did the Lightroom exports. You're going to want to make sure they're in TIFF format with 16-bit compression. And don't resize or anything. Uh, should be good. And hit export. Okay. So that is that part. And over here is probably, my guess would be, where I start back up again. So I'm going to put a couple cuts in there. And I just want to delete those. I'm not doing a ripple delete this time. The reason I'm not doing a ripple delete is because that is where this image is going to go. And then I'm going to use that A shortcut to select everything to the right of it and drag everything back to where that image is. And I'm pretty sure I had another little cut from Sequator. Uh, I am free to close Sequator, and no, I don't save my current projects. Okay, so again, I'm going to use the A key to select everything there, the V key to go back to be able to drag things, and go like that. And then this is my second image, so I am going to plop it in right there, use the A key again to select all those, and bring them back. So then I just got to figure out where I actually ended this video. My, let's... Yeah, I feel like all around I'm pretty happy with that image. Uh, so... Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I personally like a mild vignette on most of my images. I normally go... 
I'm gonna pull the highlights up so that it misses the highlights on the vignette. And the feather, I'm gonna bring that up a little bit too. Okay, then the one last thing, I'm gonna come into radial filters and I've got this minus 44 radial filter in place. Okay. To accentuate that area a little bit more. And there we go. We have our finished image. Well, I know I could have spent more time on this and cleaned it up. Okay, so... This chunk in here, there was a little bit of dead space. So I'm going to delete that dead space in the audio. And drag my image over here. And since that is my final image, I'm going to click it. And if you hold down Alt while dragging something, you actually create a copy of it. So in the style of my photography channel, I'm going to create three of those because it's a finished product. And then I'm going to select those two and go like that. Oh, and if I didn't mention it, you can if you click in an empty space, you can also drag a selection box to be able to select what you want. Sometimes that comes in handy as well. And I think I missed the end on this. Uh, I think See I forgot to clip that off. Time. Okay, so that's where it ended. So I'm going to quickly delete that as well. So select those two and delete. Okay, so this is going to be a really long editing tutorial, it looks like. But, you know, editing Nightscape images, not always short. Okay, well that is roughly how you chop up a video and get rid of those dead spaces. I'm probably going to work on this a little bit more and get rid of a few more off camera. But hopefully you found this useful. If you did, definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And hopefully I will see everyone next time.